Burglars at a church caught in the act come face to face with a young pastor. At first I thought, oh, he's maybe part of the baptism uh, families, but then I noticed a large crowbar in his hand. The thieves broke into Resurrection Catholic Church in Allen Allenton. Over the weekend, dozens of teens were inside for a retreat. Ricky Mitchell talked with the youth pastor who walked in on the crime. She joins us now live. Ricky. That's right. This happened Sunday just after noon when authorities say two men attempted to break into the church's safe, but they were caught in the act. Eileen Belongi says she was teaching a confirmation retreat at this church on Sunday and they were just about to eat lunch. We were about to take our first bite of food when we heard uh, a lot of noise upstairs. She says they assumed it was one of the parish priests setting up for baptisms. So she went upstairs to invite the father to lunch. She kept hearing noise coming from the sacristy. Not wanting to startle him, Eileen says she decided to knock. The door only opened about a foot and uh, the person on the other side of the door was not who I expected. It was a large man and I thought at first I thought, oh, he's maybe part of the baptism uh, families, but then I noticed a large crowbar in his hand. She immediately ran back and asked one of the men at the retreat for help. I mean, they're heroes. They, they had no idea what they were going to encounter. They had nothing with them to protect themselves, but they needed to put themselves between harm and the youth. Meanwhile, they moved all 24 teens into a kitchen and locked the door. Deputies arrived soon after. According to Washington County sheriffs, a vehicle description helped them track down one of the suspects, a 52 year old man from Milwaukee. Authorities say he had this crowbar in his car when a state trooper pulled him over. I thank God that I, the Holy Spirit inspired me to knock on that door first because if I, I, I shudder to think what might have happened had I just busted in on them.